Hey everyone, my name is Erica, and in this video, we'll be looking at how Message Center is now available in the Elevate Staff app. You can see here the new Messages tab. Remember that Message Center and the Messages tab on the app will only be available to those subscribed to a Message Center plan, as well as you need to ensure if you want your staff to have access to it, that they have the correct staff permissions to access Message Center. So I selected the Messages tab and I'm brought to my inbox here. I see all my client conversations and so that is what you will be seeing. So first thing is you are able to initiate a new conversation. So if I go ahead, select on the plus icon, which I did, I'm going to now search for my client of whom I want to send a message to. So I'm going to select Marty I just want to know how he's doing. So hello, how are you feeling today? I had an appointment with him yesterday, so I just want to know how he's doing. So that sends, there we go. So we have that sent. And so if we see here with all client conversations on the top right, I have the three dot icon and I'm able to select either to mute the conversation pin, view the client profile. So I'm just going to go over that right now. So if I go back, I'm able to see that within all my client conversations, I can go into the client conversation. I'm repeating myself. I can go into the client conversation, see the sub selections here. I can also go into a client conversation in my inbox, swipe to the left. If I select more, then I'm able to also select from here as well. So let's go into that. If I mute a conversation, this icon appears right over here. And this means that my conversation with Simon, I will no longer be receiving any notifications from that conversation. If I swipe to the left again, I select more, I can unmute it. And now I see that it disappears. If I select more again, I can pin the conversation. So now I am making sure that I'm up to date with that conversation with Simon. But at the same time, if I no longer need to have that, I can go ahead and unpin it. Lastly, swiping again to the left, I can also view his profile. So I can have quick access, tap. Maybe there's just some information I need to find out more. So I can go ahead, scroll. I can go into the client profile, click on the three lines over here, see the activity, all other information, etc. Let's go back. And I can see here that now that message that I previously sent to Marty, I could see it now part of my inbox as well. So that's cool. Now let's go into these icons right over here. So if I want to view my archived messages, I can go ahead and do that. So I can select on the icon there. I can see my archived messages. Let's just say if I want to, Tim, uh, he's a client that just came back to my business. He wants to work with me again. I can restore that conversation. And then now it'll appear in my inbox. So if I click on this icon again, I can see now that Tim is part of this inbox right over here. Okay. And then also if I go ahead and I select not to go too back and forth with Tim, but if I want to swipe to the left, I can archive that conversation again. So those are the capabilities with archiving and that is everything. So we talked about how to access your messages on the messages tab. I can see all my messages here, the different actions that you can take with your more, even in the client profile, archiving, restoring conversations. Lastly, I do want to talk about how you are able to search for your clients. And so if you want to search for a particular client, let's just say George, especially this is helpful if you have a long list. Okay, you can also use the filter option right over here. So you can filter your conversations based on the status of the conversation. So if I select on status, you can select your archived, read, replied. I'm just going to select all. You can select your period. So by default, it is by year. So I scroll to the bottom. Uh, if I select month, 
I can go ahead and see that the date range just applies to the month that I'm in right now, but I can go ahead and move back, select done, and then I'll select February there. I'll just showcase the week as well. So if I select week, it'll default to what I selected already before, but I can go ahead and make that relevant to let's just say uh, March, for example, and then it'll go ahead and select that week for me. All right, but I'm just gonna go ahead and select the year. I wanna get a full picture. If you're a multi-location business, you can select the filter of whatever location you want, but I'm just going to select all. And then lastly, you have your client types and your client groups. So you can search for conversations based on all your client types, maybe some. I'm gonna select all. You can also select by your client groups, default all, but I'm just going to select maybe some. I'm actually gonna change my mind, I'm gonna select all. There we go, and just remember your client types and your client groups. You can find that within the staff back office if you need to configure that, consult that, staff back office within setup, clients, and then client types and client groups. Let's apply all the filters there. And there we go. I have a notification here with the red dot that indicates that I have applied a filter. So if I want to bring it back to its original state, just clear all the filters and there we have it. All right, and so that's everything within Message Center in the Elevate Staff app. I hope you have lots of fun and we will see you in the next video.